What is going on guys, the Enfin here, bringing you guys another Analyzing Halo 4, as promised, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run down the next part, I, I was planning on doing, uh, you know, the explosives thing, but that was just, that was an awful perk. I don't even think I'm going to analyze it. I, I just, I hated it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about the one. It's still not the greatest, but we're going to get into that a little bit later. Uh, I'm going to get into the shielding, you know. I forgot if it's a tactical package or a something or other. I don't remember, truly. But a uh, quick note about the gameplay. This is SWAT. Why am I doing shielding when, when there's SWAT gameplay? Um, you know, I, I really like SWAT. SWAT's my favorite gameplay. I went like 28 and 15, or maybe 29 and 15, something like that. Uh, I went ham. I got two killing sprees, uh, one triple kill, and two double kills. Uh, it was a pretty good gameplay. A little bit of camping, but you know, oh well. You know, if you get control of that top building, usually you, you do pretty well. Alright, so anyway, we're going to jump right into this. I want to talk about shielding because what it says in the description is it recharges your shields faster. Now here's the thing, the way I tested this is I threw a grenade at the ground, sat on top of the grenade, a grenade by the way takes down all your shields, shields go all the way down, wait for them to go all the way back up. And so, uh, you know, uh, ooh, bump my mic, but if you guys don't think this is an efficient method, do your own test, but whatever. So what I did was I recorded the time from to go to no shields to full shields. And the way I did that is as soon as the grenade went off, I started the timer because that's as soon as my shields went down. And as soon as it, not when it started recharging, but when it hit the very lat, like very full, that's when I um, calculated the, uh, re uh, that's when I stopped the timer. And I actually got some pretty significant results. So I'm going to share those with you guys now. And they're actually fairly um, consistent too. Um, and so let me go ahead and jump right into this. All right. So. Uh, basically, the reason why I did this was because I want to show you guys that this perk, when I when I used it, I felt like it didn't do you know anything. And the reason why is because when you're when you get shot, when you get a grenade taken, your shields are broke. Like they basically they break, right? And they have to repair themselves. Your shields don't repair themselves faster with this perk. They both took around five to six seconds to to uh. You know, somewhere around there, sometimes it varied, probably like five and a half seconds to six seconds to repair themselves, and then that's when you'd start charging again. Now, the thing is, is with your recharge rate at set as, like, you know, normal, it would take about two seconds roughly, I'll get to that in a second, you know, about a, a little over a second, um, or a little more than a second, I should say, a little less than two seconds, uh, to recharge completely, and then the other one takes a little less than a second. Uh, to recharge and so that might be good for you guys but personally I'm gonna get into the stats now that might change your mind alright so without the recharge rate uh, I recorded 8 seconds 7.8 seconds 7.7 .7 seconds 7.7 .7 seconds again and then 7.5 seconds now that's the thing is d these are pretty accurate results right but I can't just stop there I'm gonna take the average time and so the average time for those times were 7.74 was 7.74 seconds excuse my grammar um so 7.74 seconds right that that's that's a pretty long time oh wow I just puffed in the mic my bad that's a pretty long time to have your shields down for especially if you're in a gunfight you're obviously not gonna win that gunfight if you just choose to um it, you know if you are having a gun to gun fight you lose your shields 7.4 7.74 seconds is quite a long time to wait in a corner to go out and fight if you just choose to go hide in a corner um, which is usually it, you know SWAT I like it because you don't have shields but you know I'm kinda getting sidetracked let me just get back on track but anyway with the shields it took uh, so average was 7.74 for that one with the shields, the shielding perk or whatever, it took 6.9 seconds, 6.8 seconds, 6.8 seconds, 6.8 seconds, and 6.9 seconds. So I feel like I got fairly consistent results with that. And so the average was 6.84 seconds. Um, and so obviously the difference between this is about 0.9 seconds, roughly. So yeah, 0.9 seconds difference. So, you know, basically a second difference, you know, a little bit less. Um, between the recharge rates now if you do get in a gun to gun fight you guys both take your shields down and you guys both choose to go hide in corners and you guys both choose to pop back out at, uh, one second afterwards you'll have full shields they'll have half shields if you guys want to try that out be my guest but this is why that's not effective 
because they both the shields both break and they both have to repair themselves it's a little difficult to uh win a gunfight when you are focusing on um wow i have no idea where i went with that um basically what i'm trying to say is it's not going to help you win any gunfights i promise you i mean you might think it will but truly it's not um, which is why I truly don't like this perk, because you guys repair shields at the same time, one just recharges faster. So truly, it has no effect on gunfights. I mean, it doesn't, unless you're, I mean, this might be good for sniping, if you get shot, you want to hide behind cover, pop up, you know, seven seconds later, or, sorry, six, yeah, basically seven seconds later, um, to shoot the guy, be my guest, but that's just not going to be very ideal for you. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to talk about the percentage rate. Now the thing is, is this is where it kind of kicks in, is there is only a 12% increase rate, a 12% increase rate in your shield's time. It was 88% more efficient, the way I did that, 6.84 over 7.74 gives you uh, 0.8837 or whatever. But basically, so 88%, it recharges 88% faster in a way, but that, but it doesn't increase it by 88%, that's what you have to think about. It does recharge 88% faster, but it only, it's the, it, the way, okay, what I'm trying to say is, it, the rate that, uh, it actually increases your shield recharge is 12%, but in the end it recharges at 88% total. Um, you know, if, if you guys understand where I'm going with that, if not, just take my word, it's 12 seconds, or 12%, my bad. Um, anyway, so next, I want to talk about uh, since it is, a, it's a 0.9 second di difference, about a mi uh, about a second, and uh, there's a 12% increase. So what I want to talk about now is what do you guys think? I'm not gonna truly tell you guys, cause for me, I hate this part. I mean, I don't hate it. It just it doesn't really do anything truly. I mean, it doesn't, especially when I play SWAT all the time. I don't have shields. I don't have perks. I mean, I just grab a DMR and you know whatever else they give me, a Magnum, and I I just go to town. So. Uh, you know, I want to hear your guys' opinion. You leave it in the comment section below. Do you guys like shielding? Personally, I don't really like it. I don't think it's the best perk in the world. Uh, I think you have some better choices. I think uh, mobility is in the same place. Uh, mobility is much better because you have unlimited sprint. I'll probably do another one on that later. But, you know, what do you guys think? Um, also, really quick note about my uh, channel. Channel update a little bit. Uh, next week is Thanksgiving break for my school. And, you know, that's exciting, it is, but I'm not going to be here from Tuesday to Friday of next week. I think I'm getting back Friday, so if I get back at a decent time, probably about, like, if I get back at, like, 8 o'clock or 9, I might be able to put up a game player. Probably not in analyzing Halo 4, because I don't think I would have enough time to analyze, but definitely Monday, I'll try and get up one analyzing Halo 4, or I'll get up one analyzing Halo 4. I might, if I want to spend all day Monday doing it. I might try and get up uh, that along with a commentary, or that along with a another analyzing Halo 4. So, nevertheless, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I certainly did. I was really excited. Um, best gameplay I've had on Halo yet. And uh, other than that, I'll come subscribe. I'll see you guys later.